<laughs> We're here with Kathy Duva of Main Event, and we're ahead of this big fight between Kovalev and Caparello next week. Is this a keep busy pattern for Kovalev right now? Yeah, it's keep busy, keep your title, keep earning money. Uh, that's, what, that's what he wants to do. He wants to be an active champion, defend it a lot. Ideally, what would you have rather had uh, Kovalev be doing right now at this time of year? anything I'd rather have him do, Ali, to tell you the truth. I think, look, he's, he's going to fight again this year. He gets an extra, you know, he gets three shots on HBO this year. It's tremendous. And uh, we don't know what's going to come at the end of the year, but if he's more active, I just think that makes him a better position to win the fight. Of course, you had been working toward, hopefully, a shot at Adonis Stevenson. Um, we, we also saw Bernard Hopkins talk about Kovalev recently. Do you feel that uh, Bernard was kind of using you all and Kovalev to try to get Adonis to sign for that fight? Or um, I think he was, and I also think he might have been sincere, and it might have been both. So we'll see. How could it be both? Uh, I would expect his first choice would be to fight Stevenson, because that's just rational. Uh, and if he got that, that would be great for him. But if he didn't get that, then Sergey is an alternate choice, which pleases me, certainly. So it could be both. And it, so when you say it was <laughs> rational, do you mean because you think that Kovalev is more threatening to Hopkins, or because it, it was a Showtime thing? <laughs> <laughs> after, after the last fight? Yeah, probably. Yeah. But, but I didn't know what, the, what you thought was rational about it, if it was Oh, no, I think, I think that, it, it, look, it, you're, first of all, you're Bernard Hopkins, you're not going to be afraid of anybody. And I'm never going to think for a moment that there's anybody he wouldn't fight. But I think logically, uh, Stevenson is the least dangerous of the two. They're both huge punchers. But I think that Stevenson, uh, I think, may be more susceptible to Bernard's head games. And I think you've got a, a, a big puncher who's in some respects one dimensional, as opposed to a big puncher who has many dimensions. And who I, remains to be seen whether he'd be susceptible to the head games. But. Uh, I, you know, I, I think if I'm Bernard, I say I go for the, the, the more likely one first, and I think I think it's Stevenson. Mm -hmm. You also have another light heavyweight in your stable, Isaac Chalimba. Why was he uh, not in this fight with Kovalev? Why is Caparello instead? Well, you know, we this was a summer fight that was added to the schedule. It hadn't been anticipated. Um, sometimes you have to work within the budget you have. And I personally, you know, we spoke to, to Isaac's people and I told them, I can't pay you enough to make this fight worth your while. And I think they, they wanted to take it. And I said, you know, no, no, you're going to be able to make more money if you can just be a little more patient. And, you know, our job is to make the best fights. Our job is also to represent our fighters. And I have to give the best advice to each fighter based on the situation they're in. We are looking down the road, and I would say by early next year, we are going to have Isaac in a position with, with a couple of different options. And he will be in a position where I think he can... Uh, better, better enhance his career by following a slightly different plan. And, hmm. and what, so what? What? Uh, what options were you thinking for? for well, that's. See, the thing about plans is that if you tell them to everybody, then they'll know. Them. So we're going to just keep that to ourselves for the time being. Right. But it, it will. It will begin to reveal itself pretty soon. Can you lay out the Kovalev playbook for us? No, just <laughs> <laughs> yes. Why'd you go ask him? <laughs> yeah. What's the what is the status of your uh, lawsuit? Have there been any discussions? Uh, anything moving forward? Uh, th there's been one lawyers conference, but uh, the way this works, it takes a very long time, and we are heading into August when the courts are pretty much closed anyway. So I don't expect anything will happen until September. And last we spoke about, you told me that there had not been any outreach in terms of negotiations or an offer of settlement. Is that still the same? Uh, yes, it is. Okay. Put together a big match for him. Um, it was frustrating, obviously, when we were on the, on the brink of making a big match uh, earlier this year. Very frustrating. But you know what? We've been having conversations in the last few days uh, with Pascal's people who seem to be coming around. And uh, I'm hearing that I'm about to have conversations with Golden Boy about Hopkins. And until it happens, I will reserve judgment. But um, we are, we are uh, I'm hearing all kinds of rumors that we have a deal. So it would be great to know. <laughs> did, uh, did Bernard elect him to not? Sign with Al Heyman make you a little more excited about the possibility. Is that what happened? Somebody told me it. Oh, Al, told you? Al was not representing him yet. Okay, cool. Well, now I'm excited. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for making my day. <laughs>
Is he a preferred choice for you guys over Steve well, at this point? Of course. I mean, yeah, of course. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be that coy. Of course, we'd love to make that fight. Um, but, but you know, I, again, I've heard a lot of rumors that we're making that fight. But until somebody pulls me up and decides to negotiate, I'm not gonna believe it. Why is the Hopkins the preferred choice instead of Stevenson? Um, when I say preferred choice, I'm, I'm, I'm dealing with what's possible. Okay. okay. We're not. Stevens is simply not possible. Stevenson. He took his. He took himself out of the game. At some point, you just gotta move on and say. You know what? You made your choices. Live with them. Um, you know, uh, Hopkins. You know, and, and always Hopkins, Stevenson, either one. It's that high-profile fight where everybody's watching and everybody. You know, that's what makes your career. Either one is just as good as the other, as far as I can tell. Does, does the other one end up on the to-do list after you do the one? I mean, if you have whatever. Again, orders. Stevenson took himself off that list. If he wants to put himself back on, God bless him. Of course. Uh, but, but as things stand right now, um, it looks like his career is going in a different direction. Do you have a date for the end of the year? Is that when you want to do this, or are you looking at 2015? No, um, again, the rumors I've heard this year. <laughs> and he's been approved by HBO? To he was approved by HBO when we made our deal with him early this year. He was always on the approved list. Everybody's on the list. There's nobody that's not approved. We just need to make the fight. Can't get that <laughs> You too could be on the approved list. the right <laughs> <Thanks, Joe>. Come on. <laughs> Standard cruiser. <laughs> <laughs>